All right, so we have a, a new team uh, coming in here. Well, they're not new, but they kind of came in uh, as a substitute last minute, so we really appreciate that uh, and can't wait to hear more from them. Volta Robotics coming in. Uh, obviously, you see the paper plane mechanism in your hand there and can't wait to hear more about your team and your robots. So introduce yourselves and let us know what you've been working on. So, yeah, no, basically what at least we've been working on uh, is the arm mechanism. Uh, we have a claw being printed right now, so it's it's nothing to too much, but it's just a motor mounted vertically with a bevel gear so that it can go horizontal. And then we've just been doing modifications here and there to the overall robot. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. The new Robit system by Anymark can reduce complexity and enable robust builds. Parts align to a common one half inch grid, simplifying construction and allowing alignment of both structure and motion components. Robits enables teams to always have the parts they need to complete a build. Head on over to Anymark.com slash Robits to learn more in order today. And another good thing about reusing our drivetrain from last year is that we built our robot to be small so that way we could maneuver quickly. But since we don't need to maneuver, we have a lot of uh, extra room. So instead of being stressed on where to put this, we can calmly put it right here and it won't go over the 18 uh, inch limit. But yeah, no, like you said, it's pretty small, easy to mount things. We've got a little expand. Uh, so, and we haven't been able to test that yet as, uh, Previously, uh, our program software like just was not working. So for like half an hour or so, our our programmer, because we only have one dude at the moment that can program, so he spent like half an hour or so trying to fix the programming. So we haven't been able to program too much, but we're working on it, I guess. Now we had a uh, question or two from chat come in, so let's grab those. And anything else you want to cover in your robot, we can work our way through. There's some more questions about the airplane, how it's going to be stored, and how you're going to launch it. So if you want to go over that once more and explain that. Um, so what the airplane is going to do, we plan on storing it by simply uh, putting it in at the beginning of the round, holding on to it, and then at the end, uh, it'll go. And then um, how it launches is we have a single motor on the bottom. And it's going, it has a chain going to all four of these wheels. When we want to launch it, the motor will activate and all four of the wheels will launch it upward and hopefully to 30 points. Yeah, no, and we're just using a 6,000 RPM motor right now. Uh, we haven't been able to test it, so we're going to have to see how that does later on. Uh, so that's all we know about it so far. Orca Whale says, how do you outtake one pixel at a time when you're holding two pixels? Are they on top of each other when they're stored? Uh, we don't know how we're going to get two pixels right now. We don't have a hold yet. We don't have a claw at the moment. It's printing right now. So we're going to have to see how we do with one pixel and then go on to doing two pixels. So we'll have to see. There's a question from Bongo the Rainwing King which is, did the motor limit present a challenge today when you were coming up with a design with such a complicated challenge this season? I mean, we haven't experienced too much of a challenge with it. So. Um, and then there's some more questions about the plane. How has your testing been with that? Have you put it on the field yet to give it a go? Uh, with the plane, we, we did try throwing it. Yeah, no, like I said, uh, we've been, we haven't really tested it, like, at all. We've thrown it so far, and the plane seems to go a decent distance, so we're going to have to see how it performs once we have the motor mounted and everything. So when you guys are looking, you're coming in, you know, fresh on this. You didn't know you are doing robot in 30 hours until just a little while ago. What have you learned so far uh, that maybe other teams could apply here for the center stage game? Uh, so, so far we've learned that at least it seems so much better to be able to keep your robot under these braces because that way you don't have to deal with the middle door. Uh, and then as well as, I've, at least from what I've seen, 
from our robot is that it doesn't take too complicated of a design to make it work, at least for the main part of the game. So it shouldn't be too difficult of a challenge to build something for it, but I think like the hardest challenge would probably be hanging from this, I would imagine, and as well as the paper airplane. Yeah. There's a question from Helen Saunders. Are you planning on using vision systems like OpenCV or the April tags for randomization and positioning information? Uh, yes, we do. We probably plan on using a camera sensor for April tags, and I'm not too sure else because that's, that's not my field because uh, I'm kind of leaving that up to programming and then later on testing as well to see what we are going to need. So with the three of you uh, left here for tonight, I know you said uh, you're not going to be able to get everything done because you have a couple of members not here. What are the three of you going to be really focused on while you're still here? Um, while I'm still here, what I'm going to be focused on is helping with whatever Nate needs. And uh, then I believe Nate had said that what he's going to focus on mainly is learning how to code overnight and then figuring out how to uh, launch and uh, get this working, or at least until our other main coder is here. All right, we're going to end up wrapping up here. Uh, 41 16, thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. Give a round of applause for Nelson Knight. They're coming in, not even knowing they were doing this earlier. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. The new Robit system by Anymark can reduce complexity and enable robust builds. Parts align to a common one half inch grid, simplifying construction and allowing alignment of both structure and motion components. Robits enables teams to always have the parts they need to complete a build. Head on over to Anymark.com slash Robits to learn more in order today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now and check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.